Vanilla Wow story in a nutshell. I have a feeling this is going to be good. All right. Let's see what it's all about. Hey, you, random farmer guy with midlife crisis. Huh? Son, what do you say you aid the alliance in our war against the bloodthirsty horde and then go up yeah. against several godlike beings that are sure the coming end of our very planet? What? Great. First, I want you to kill some random wolves in Take this quest, bitch. Area, and I'll give you, um, my shirt as a reward. Off you go now. I already like this. He said, I'll give you my shirt as a reward. When you think about it, you're like, where the hell are these items coming from that we're getting? Look at that. <laughs> Just a right. But you know, this is what makes Vanilla WoW so good. Honestly, like I'm, I'm a retail Andy, but you know, this is what makes it good that you really are just like some random little farmer boy who is coming up and deciding, okay, I'm going to help my people. I'm going to help the Alliance. I'm going to take up arms and do what I need to do to help make the world better for my people. And then you go out and you start killing like little things. You're not like this overpowered god. You're just a regular, you know, regular little man just running around with an axe, gathering equipment from people as you complete little side quests. There's something nice about that. It's, it's enjoyable. Go now. <laughs> it feels better. Now we're champions of everything. Holy shit. At last. Our forces are almost ready to claim Azeroth in our Lord's name. Huh? Who the hell are you? Oh, we're here to slay the big fireman. Can you call him? I, I would never do such a thing at your demand. Oh, gee! Okay, okay. Jeez. Look at the gear. Look at the gear of the group. Look how good this is. Oh, man. Oh, such good. Such good detail on this gear. Um, my lord, some... Foolish mortals asking for your home. Ah, uh, Mr. Rag. This is fucking epic. You have awakened me too soon. Except this. And thus, the threat was wrecked, and Azeroth was saved. Until... <laughs> oh, yes. Now, with Ragnaros well, on the way, my forces will be the ones to claim Azeroth in my name. When... <laughs> Who are you people? How Just did some you... raiders. <laughs> and so... Azeroth was finally saved. Until <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. Shall be reborn and will plunge the world into chaos. Yeah. Hey, uh, what's up? We're raiders here. <laughs> A car. The last threat to Azeroth was forever vanquished. Yeah, I gotta get those beetle mounts at our garage, baby. Like, just to put this in perspective, don't forget, this story started with a farmer who was supposed to kill some wolves. We are now fighting old gods. All right? Yeah, like a, a bit of a power creep going on here. Cold early. Cthulhu meets his Finally, end. There you go. Azeroth was Has safe. to be it. Uh, Alright, we get it. Shut up. Just get it over with. Fine. There you go. Kel'Thuzad needs like five or six uh, stones in this graveyard. We've killed him so many times. I mean, he should just be—he should be known as the Dead Lord because that's all he does is die, at this point. Wow, this story was so cool. 
Man, this expansion story sucks, yes. right? Uh, yeah. Come on. Hey, yeah. True, you. true. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel, consider uh, subscribing yeah. to my Patreon. Thanks. 6th of March, 2005. The day Lord Kazakh was, great, was man. to the city of Stormwind, marking <laughs> one of the most notorious world... That was so good and so true. Yeah, the power creep is real, and uh, the farmer boy uh, is no longer the farmer boy. He is the champion of Azeroth. I kind of wish he'd go back to the farmer boy days. But, uh, uh, but that was a funny video. I enjoyed it.